right. Talk amongst yourselves <laughs> for a minute here. Okay. There we go. All right. Very good. How are we this morning? Good. I'm excited about today. Everybody give a hand to my team who set everything up. Okay. Give a hand to Mary and her family from Salad Shares. Hand for being here. Good. I'm excited about today. Today's about being forever young. And this is a no holds bar, however you say that, workshop, talk, seminar. Because everything I have to tell you today and share with you is gold. Now, forever young is not about making your life so easy. Forever young is making your life strategic. Making your life on purpose. Making your life everything that God wanted it to be. Okay? And so if you're watching, all 10 million Facebook listeners, what viewers, good to see you. Share this with your friends. If you have any questions, message me. If you want to discount on anything we talk about today, message me. We'll get in touch with you, okay? Everything going good? Grant, give everybody a hand for Grant. This video is going to be posted on YouTube. As soon as we get it up there, as soon as Scott gets it taken care of, all right? So I'm excited about Forever Young. Um, Mrs. Arby and I have been on this path for many, many years, okay? I met her in junior high when I was in high school. She's much younger than me. I'm just teasing. But we are forever young. We get to experience it every day. And so let's jump into this thing. Let's have fun. Let's have a good time. Everybody say Yahoo! Yahoo! You can find us on Facebook under Spine Geek. You can find us under YouTube under Spine Geek. There's a ton of videos on how to be healthy and strong. So check that out. Um, I don't know how to do this, but there's this Google thing where you star us and rate us and say, yay, we had fun here today. Do that, if you would, please, for me, if you know how, if you know how to do that, okay? <laughs> and again, I am the health czar of North Glen. I helped the mayor, we've been supporting him for years. I said, if you win, make me the health czar of North Glen. So my job is to have everyone in the city living forever young, okay? And we'll talk about what that means in a minute. But my job is to make sure everyone is healthy, everyone is strong, that there is no one hurting in our city. Okay? I'm tired of school shootings. Raise your hand if you're tired of school oh, shootings. Yes, man. Praying against it. I tell you, that baby, whoever did the, the evil, when that baby was born, that baby wasn't depressed. That baby didn't have any low self-esteem. That baby wasn't, didn't have mental illness. That baby couldn't, be, couldn't do, that baby was perfect, created in God's image, and that baby was destined for greatness, but somewhere along that baby's life, that baby got hurt. Physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So now that child, that individual, is acting completely opposite for what it was created for. If that child had been brought into this office, we'd have been sowing into that person's life, into that family's life, Dealing with the same way I'm going to help you become forever young, forever young really begins the day you're born. So this is a solution to all that happening in this city, in this state, in this nation, around this planet. Everything I'm going to share with you is for every person on this planet to be healthy and strong, body, mind, and spirit, from the day they're born until the day they die. That's what it's all about. How do you pull it off? That's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to share with you, okay? And so... The five essentials we talk about. What, how do we see miracles in this office? First of all, it's core chiropractic. We'll talk about that. Keeping your brain connected to your body. Then nutrition. That's important to be forever young. Having a good mindset. That's important for being forever young. Oxygen and exercise. That's important for being forever young. And the last one is minimizing toxins. Stop putting poisons on your skin, in your body in front of your face as far as TV, all those things, okay? This is what we do. So as your doctor, when you come to this office, okay, this is, I pick these five areas to begin to go to work on your life so that it looks like God had a plan for you. Does that make sense? Say Yahoo. Yahoo. Good, 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 okay. And we've been here now in this very location for the last 26 years Literally seeing miracles happen every day. Literally. I don't exaggerate that. Miracles happen, okay? Raise your hand if you've seen a positive healing effect, healing miracle happen in your life by coming here. Yeah. 
And that's not me. That's what God does in this place every single day. And he never disappoints. I promise that. He never disappoints. So I don't know where you're at right now. Maybe you've lost hope. Maybe you're ready to quit. Maybe you've already quit. That's okay. Today's a new day. Okay, look to the person on your right and say, today's a new day. Look to the person on your left now and say, today's a even better day. Good, good, good. And, and you may not, because listen, you may not feel like it right now. You know, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, you may be at a 2 right now. And, and that's okay. I applaud you for being here. It's okay to be a 2. Just can't stay there. Don't want to stay there. People you live with don't want you staying there, okay? <laughs> want to get you to a three, to a four, to a five, and then how to stay there. Yeah. And on days when you are a three, you're like, I'm a three today, watch out, don't talk to me, right? We had a couple today who, uh, they have a son graduating from high school, and today's the graduation party. I said, so how's it going? He's like, well, I said, here's the secret. If you want to avoid fighting, just don't even talk to your wife until the party's over with. That way you avoid any discussion, you avoid being wrong, and therefore everybody gets along and has a good time. You know, it's like the two-hour rule before church, right? <laughs> two hours before church, no conversations between husband and wife. That way you get to church on time, you don't argue on the way there, and you're fine. Now, if you don't know this rule, I just maybe saved some of your lives, okay? <laughs> because we've had some of our heated battles the 20 minutes before we walk into church. Hi, how's it going? How you doing, right? And we've had three graduation parties, and the stress is a little high that day, right? So I was like, listen, just, she says, is that why he's not talking to me this morning? I go, this might be. Maybe he's, he's learning. But just, that was free. It has nothing to do with forever young. That just has to be with being happy, okay? We call it the two-hour rule before church, okay? And, and, and yeah, no elbowing. If you know what I'm talking about, just, just smile and wave, okay? <laughs> this is my team. Again, we're all about making champions. Each one of these people in this picture are relentless, about what they're pursuing in their life. They're relentless about their health. They're relentless about adopting a baby. This one here, not this one. Uh, they're, they're relentless about chasing the gold medal dream to the Olympics. So everybody say relentless. Yes. I'm kind of giving you the, the, the secret at the end, right? the punchline, is you have to develop a life of being relentless. You have to have a mindset of being relentless. Now, it may look like being stubborn, but we're going to call it relentless. But you can be stubborn. Use it to your advantage, okay? <laughs> this is my family. They are relentless. May's getting ready to start as in chiropractic college to pursue her dreams. Grant is doing his thing with modeling, photo shooting, and, and rocking the world here. He can even take x-rays in Spanish now. He's relentless about being taking x-rays. <laughs> Leah is here for the summer to continue to help us out and find her next we call big girl job. And she's taking offers on that. My beautiful wife here at the beauty counter. You got me and you got Luke there who helped serve all this up. He made the power shakes over there. And so understand, that's why when, when I see the school shootings, not to be a downer, when I see any of that going on, that was never part of God's plan for that situation. And people were blaming and doing this and doing that. And I won't get into that right now. But boy, if you just take what we're going to share today and start applying it to your family, to your children, to your life, then you're going to see this thing called body, mind, and spirit begin to work like you were promised it was going to work. Okay? Because there's a lot of disconnection. There's a lot of dysfunction out there. And you're looking at, well, this and why this doesn't make sense. It must not work. Oh, it works. It works. There's just an application problem. That's another secret to be in today. Everything I teach you works. It works crazy good, right? But if your application isn't there, then you can't expect to have results. And as Americans, we're kind of expecting, let's, what, what's the least amount of work I can put in and still get the, the results that everybody else gets, right? It doesn't work that way. Relentless action, pursuit of your passions, your desires, and dreams with the right map is going to deliver the results, the life of your dreams. And I'm not just blowing smoke. I'm just telling you, we're living it. We've been living it for almost the last 30 years. We've been living it one day at a time. So I want to encourage you today. So what happened to little Debbie over the last 40, 50 years? Did she grow up forever young? No. No. What country does she live in? America. America. Therefore, what food does she eat? 
Does she walk up a mountain to work, or does she drive her car? Yeah. Does she sit in front of a computer how many hours a day? Right? What's, what, are, what does she think? What's her mindset? Right? Is she connected to her nerve system? Is she connected to her family? Is she connected to her friends? Is she connected to her community? Is she connected to God? Probably not. So then what's the result by the time little Debbie turns 40, 50, 60, 70 years old? Right there, right? Does that, that make sense? So is little Debbie forever young? No. No. So what's the problem? Well, here's the thing. You have to understand that you have in your handout the six habits of life. <coughs> the six habits of life. These are habits that everyone on this planet has to adopt and live by in order to be forever young. Okay? On the far left here is medical help. If you have an emergency, you fall and you break something, you get in an auto accident, you cut yourself really bad, like if you wait an hour, you will die, that's a medical emergency. You need to go to the medical doctors, you need to go to the emergency room, let them administer emergency care to you so that you live another day. That's a habit of life you need to be in, right? Some people don't want to go to the doctor no matter what. Their leg is falling off, right? They think they're having a heart attack, right? And then, oh, no, I'm fine. No, you're not. Go to the emergency room. Go. And then when you go, come back, and then we'll figure out why you are there to begin with. Okay? The next one is positive future thinking. Every thought you have today, you better be careful because your 75 to 100 trillion cells in your body are paying attention, and they control whether they're happy or sad based on what you think. Everything you have today is a process of your thoughts the last 90 days. Everything you have today is a process of your thoughts the last 90 days. Okay? Oxygen to your cells. That's called exercise. You need that. These are not suggestions. These are things your body requires if you want to be healthy, body, mind, and spirit. You need to eat food that's actually food. You need to minimize poisons in your body. You have to pay attention and be aware of being connected to your brain, spine, and nerve system. These are the six habits. Use them correctly, and you'll have a forever young life. Use them improperly, and you'll have sickness, disease, and early death. It's that simple. Use them correctly, and you'll get the promises that God's delivered to your body, into your life, into your future. Use them incorrectly, sickness, disease, and early death. That's how it works. That's how it works. So again, someone tell me what this is, please. A garden hose. And what is the job of the garden hose? The water of the grass. What color is healthy grass? Green. Green. Who made it that way? God did. Did that statement offend anyone? Okay, because I'm going to talk about God a lot. Because I can't teach you how to be forever young and leave God out. I can't. I'm sorry. Now... Believe it or not, back in the day, when I talked about God, I might have been a little polarizing with my faith. That's not my objective here today either. The <laughs> Zara's like, yeah, amen. He was scared. Okay? <laughs> but I was right. <laughs> and I was scared. <laughs> nothing's wrong. Nothing's worse. And when you know you're right and it comes around, you come across like a, a donkey. Okay? We don't want to do that today. So God made grass to be green. I'm pretty confident in that. And as long as I water it, I get in the habit of watering it, it will be green. Okay? So to describe you that way, I call it the green grass zone. Your body's working the way God designed it. Okay? That's why I put it up there. You're making, you're actually making health. You're making life. You're forever young. You're at your ideal weight. You have no need for shots or medications. You have no need for this circle right now. You have no need for the medical help circle, so you have, therefore have no need to be on medications. You have no need to have surgery. You have no need to get shots. Why? Because you're green grass zone. You only need this is if you're in a dead grass zone and it's an emergency, okay? So this is what I want for you. People in a green grass zone don't shoot each other, don't hurt each other, they love each other, they get along with each other. I don't mean they like everyone, but they've learned to give grace and peace, and they get along, and we work it out in a, in a sensible way. That's green grass zone. That's heaven on earth. 
that's promised to you. That's what my goal is to get you to achieve in your own life, okay? But if I keep the garden hose, what happens to your grass? It starts, dying. it starts to die, right? Who made it that way? God did. God made you to need water to be green. You can't keep the hose and explode. I deserve to be green. No, you don't. You deserve to be brown grass. And if you don't fix this, then you deserve to be dead grass. Well, God's mad at me. No, not God's not mad at you. He just made universal laws like gravity that we have to obey. So the law of the garden hose, your grass has to obey or your body goes through the way God made it, right? So green grass is God's fault. Brown grass is God's fault. Dead grass is God's fault. If, how you're made. If the hose is not king, is the hose is king. Does that make sense? So if... What kinks your hose then? What makes you brown grass? What makes you dead grass? What's keeping you from being forever young? That's what I want to cover real quick because we are all <coughs> under the influence of these three T's. Okay? Three T's. There's toxins, trauma, and stinking thinking. Name one person who has not ever had stinky thinking. Okay, Jesus, you got me on that one. All right, very good. Okay. But anybody else besides that, we all suffer from stinking thinking. The minute we get in front of a TV, we feel depressed, or on the internet, or Facebook, or whatever it is, right? Or parents, we disappoint our parents. For some reason, stinky thinking can cause your body, can cause your life to not be forever young, not be in the green grass zone. Also, toxins, right? We'll talk about those in a minute. Toxins can keep you from being forever young and make you brown grass and dead grass. And so can trauma to your nerve system. And again, why do I get passionate about with these talks, Sean? Is because this is all over our city, our state, our nation, and our planet. It's happening to your neighbors, people you work with, people you go to school with, and your church. These three T's are happening to everyone on a daily basis. That's okay. But are you applying those six habits of life to deal with the three T's that happen every day? One day at a time, 365 days of the year, for your whole entire lifetime. Welcome to what I call the war zone, right? You can't escape this. Matter of fact, if you try to escape it, medical science and research says your life's even more brown grass or dead grass. So we're not here to escape anything. We're here to become so strong that we can face our fears, face our issues, Get over them, get on with them, and get on to the next fun chapter of our life. Does that make sense? Okay? So again, spine trauma or bad back. You see babies and you're getting adjusted. They don't have back pain, but they have back issues. They have spine issues. They have trauma to their spine. Why? Because they're all born. Raise your hand, raise your hand if you're born from your mom. Because there's only one other person, again, Jesus, who wasn't, right? Oh, he actually went through that. He was conceived differently. Sorry. Okay, this is all fresh, right off the cuff, right here. Okay. <laughs> but again, think about this. How many people, you included, in your city, state, nation, and planet, church, school, job, and neighborhood, went through the birth process? Oh. Had to learn how to walk. Rode a bike and crashed. Fall, sitting long, playing sports, computer posture. Okay. Television posture. Video game posture. Sleeping posture. Auto accidents, motorcycle accidents, surgery, organ. So that right there will keep you from being forever young if it doesn't, if it stays uncorrected. That right there will cause sickness, disease, early death. Green grass goes to brown grass to dead grass. That's one of the traumas right there. The next one's toxins, poisons, and pollutions. What else can keep me from being forever young? The air you breathe, the water, cookware you use, sleep cleaning supplies, soap, shampoos, perfume, lack of oxygen, makeup, vitamins. Electromagnetic pollution, that's your TV, that's your Fitbits. Be careful. Your food, vaccinations, medications, all those have a negative impact on your body over time, over time, 365 days of the year, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, and will block you from being forever young. Will turn your body from green grass into brown grass, and if allowed to stay there, then goes to dead grass, right? Smoking causes what? Boom. So this is the first cigarette or the... 10,000th pack, I don't know, right? And then sneaking thinking. You can't do anything right. It's too late for you. You don't matter. It's better if you just quit. Today, just be like yesterday. 
Last week sucked, this week will suck. Doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not worth it. Life's so hard. I hate myself. I hate my body. Have you ever heard that guy or girl talking to you before? Usually they sit right here, right? Sometimes they don't ever go away, do they? So you tell them to go away. So you replace it. But that right there will keep you, that thinking will keep you from being forever young. That thinking will stress you out. That thinking will cause your body to grow brown grass and dead grass and eliminate green grass. So what am I talking about, Dr. Ivory? I'm talking about the three T's that all cause this to happen to your garden hose and cause you that God created to not be like God created. Does that make sense so far? Say Yahoo. Yahoo. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, three T's happen to everyone. Now here's the thing. The three T's don't just happen this direction. They happen at home. Oh, they happen in my mind. They can happen in my marriage. They can happen with my children. They can happen with my extended family. They can happen with my job. They can happen at my school. They can happen in my church. They can happen, you know, when I'm at the gym. They can happen when I go out to dinner. I mean, it's 360 degrees all around. You can be consumed by the three T's. Does that make sense? Yes. And it can be 365 days of the year if we don't change the stinking thinking, if we don't change what we're doing at work. So we have to realize that we live in a war zone. That we're constantly bombarded to be anything but green grass, right? I mean, literally, we wake up, what people, these young doctors, I think, Dr. Robert, how can you be so passionate after 30 years? Some are saying, I wasn't even born when you started practicing. I'm like, yeah. And, and I tell them, I can give you my wisdom, but I can't give you my experience. See, the issue is that we live in a war zone, and we have to understand that that. We have to be on guard every day. The Bible says we're going to pull in the full armor of God, right? There's a helmet, there's a breastplate, there's a sword, there's a belt, there's shoes, there's a shield. Well, if it's in the Bible and it tells me I better be on guard, then guess what? We live in a war zone. The Bible also says that there's evil coming to steal, kill, and destroy. Am I shocked that there's school shootings? No. Am I sad? Very sad. But I see how many teenagers are walking around like brown grass and dead grass, and that's what brown grass and dead grass people do. That's just what they do because that's how they program, that's how they've been conditioned by the three T's. So it's 360 days of the year. We have to wake up and say we want to be forever young. We want to be in charge. Okay? We live in a war zone. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm excited. But again, that's not that's not being depressed about, oh, this world's going to hell in a handbag. No, no, no. That's just knowing what you're up against. Therefore, you can be forever young, right? So, sit up. Why? Because trauma on my spine... <laughs> you always sit up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I need to sit up. Why? Because posture is a trauma and I don't... I, and I need to realize my posture is not good, so I need to sit up when I'm at the computer. That's being aware you live in a war zone. I need to drink water... Not soda pop. Soda pop is not good. That's a toxin. I need to drink water because I wear, I live in a war zone, right? I need to be in a good mood. I need to switch uh, those sad songs, those sad country songs. Uh, she knew that was coming. She knew that was coming. Listen, I need to switch those sad hee haw like songs to the new country hip hop songs so that we can handle the three T's in a good way. And again, what do we do though? When we're brown grass, what do we do to be forever young? Where do we run to? What, so when you were born and you were growing up and your body was expressing symptoms or you were unhappy or you're having a bad day because the three T's are attacking you, which of these circles were you taught to run to? The medical help one, right? You went, ran to the quack chiropractor. What's he going to do for you, right? This is the thing, right? Well, who has time to exercise? Oh, I'll change my diet some other day. You know? So we either run into vitamin college, try to find what medicate, what pill to take as far as vitamins, but usually run for medical help, right? And it's all we've been taught. That's all we know. It doesn't make you wrong. It just doesn't do anything to fix the majority of the three T's. And that's what I want to under, help you understand. If... Only the place you're running right now to be forever young is medical help. You're not going to like the results. 
It's just not gonna deliver the promise. So this is your solution, whether it's a testosterone pill, whether it's a hormone pill, a growth hormone pill, shot or whatever, okay? Surgeries, injections, whatever it is. If that's your only choice for Forever Young, you'll be greatly disappointed because that solution to being Forever Young just creates more dead grass, not green grass, okay? So you, if you want to learn how to look old and feel old, then let me help you. First thing is eat whatever you feel like eating, whatever you want to eat it, just whatever you feel like, okay? Cut short your sleep at night because you need to make up time. You need to stay up late to study, you stay up because you have a test, so you need to cut your, your, your sleep short so you can get more done during the day, right? Welcome to America, right? Oh, I should be, oh, I, I need eight hours, but I'm only going to get two, three. Oh, man. And then what do we do? We go back to this to make up for our lack of sleep. Or we try to pound coffee or Red Bull. Or we try to do something because we're cutting short our sleep at night. Well, that will help you look old and feel old real fast. Spend most of your time sitting or inactive. Stay on the couch. Stay in front of the computer. Keep playing video games. Don't get up, don't go for a walk, don't go outside, don't exercise for Pete's sakes. Who has time for that? Pay no attention to your thoughts. Whatever. That guy's you know what, right? Disconnect your brain, people, life, and future. And then look to medicine shots and surgery to fix you. This is a promise, guaranteed way to look old and feel old and be old. And never fulfill, never, never ever get to green grass. This is the anti-green grass plan right here. Okay? Now, unfortunately, how many, no one in this room, no one in this room, but how many are friends or family or co-workers or church members or students are living exactly that way? But what are we expecting then? Oh, we want, I can't understand why I'm so overweight. I can't understand why I'm depressed. I can't understand why I can't sleep at night. Like, I don't understand why he doesn't like me. Why does she like? I don't understand why we fight all the time. I don't understand why their grades are poor. I don't know why I'm on all these medications. I don't know why these doctors keep... There's your sign. There's your sign. Can I just take a pill and look like whoever it is right now? I'm, I'm whatever. I don't know anymore. I pay attention. Okay. Okay. I just, that, but that's if you're doing that, I'm trying to help you figure out how to replace that with real habits. Okay. Because we put our trust in that. We think it doesn't matter. We've been lied to in that voice. We've been lied to think it doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Oh no. This is the direct cause of sickness and disease and early death and not being forever young. This is it. You're not broken. You're made to be green grass. You're made to be awesome. You're made to be amazing, but you're living in a world that allows you to do this and you don't have to change. It's easy to do this. You can get paid to do this. And so we have the wrong map. If I ask you to find Denver, but I give you a map of Colorado, I'm sorry, a map of California, how would you succeed at finding Denver in California? No. Even if you paid a million dollars for the map, it's a bad map, right? But if I give you a map of Colorado and ask you to find Denver, could you find it? Yeah. yeah. So it's all about, we all want the same thing. We all want to find Denver. The problem is out there is trying to give you maps of California and saying, here you go. Oh, you can't find it? Give us more money. I promise you'll find it. Give me more money. Here, let me shoot you with this. Here, you can find it. Here, let me take this pill. Here, you can find it. And none of it ever, they keep stringing you along, and it never, until you finally die, and they go, oh, it's all in God's hands now. Well, why didn't we put it in God's hands from day one? And follow that plan, okay? Some of you will not have to go to church tomorrow. you get plenty of church credits here, okay? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good for a month. You know, I'm good for a month. And just so you know, in the Bible, it's the day of Pentecost. I think they're celebrating it today, so watch out. If I start seeing tongues of fire over your head, we're going to have a big party today, okay? <laughs> so again, and the problem is, again, it's not, it's not oh, I, I, uh, I had a bad thought, or I had a Big Mac, or I had a margarita. Uh, that's fine. But now, if you had a margarita every day for the next five, ten years, you're not going to like what that produces. Does that make sense? So I'm all for vacation days. I'm all for going out having fun. Try to find the best version of it. I'm all for having a life, right? You have to have that in order to be forever young. It's not about being so strict that you don't have any fun. No, that's not forever young. We're not talking about that. And so again, here's the problem. Look to your partner and say, you live in a war zone. 
And, and to bring that home is, listen, it says, despite the most health care spending, Americans are in worse health, die early, suffer from more diseases than any other wealthy nations in the world. The United States is 8% of the world's population, but we consume 70% of all the medication made in the world. Is that a remedy for being forever young? No, that's the remedy for why we are the sickest country in the world, okay? And here's the thing. Here's the five factors of health that I want to introduce to you today to put an end to that, okay? And we'll walk through this. And again, first one is that sleep, eating. We're not eating right. That's why we're so unhealthy. We're not sleeping enough. That's why we're so unhealthy. We're not training. We're not exercising our minds or our bodies. That's why we're not, that's why we're failing in healthcare. That's, we're not thinking the thoughts we should be thinking that are in line with what who we really are, and we're disconnected. That's why America is so sick. And I'm gonna, if you want to be forever young, then we need to adopt the positive aspects of what it says on this poster. Okay. And so let's look at Greece because there's people all around the world that are doing this as part of their culture. Okay. See, in America, this is the culture. We eat what we want. We don't sleep like we should. We just sit around and, and do whatever we're doing. We don't care what we think about, and we're disconnected from life, from people, from our nerve system. That's American culture. So is that working? No. It's given us the worst health in the world. We're dying early. And yet there's cultures who follow this on purpose, like in Icaria, Greece. I can agree, compared to Americans, they live eight years longer, 20% less cancer, 50% less heart disease, and have, a, and have almost no cases of dementia. Yes? I'm doing well enough to get around uh, since I've been here. <clears throat> my knees, my back, everything has improved so much. Mm -hmm. I've got quality of life now that I didn't have two years ago, yeah. and I want that for the future. Yeah, so feeling young, being young, getting better, no more pain, and staying that way. Good, good. That's what I want for you, too. But again, what's it look like to you? And again, here's the next thing, then. If you don't have it now, what's getting in the way? What's stopping you from being or living forever young? Is there anything that's blocking you or interfering with you? Anyone? Nerves. <laughs> so what? Nerves. Nerves? There's the impinction block. What else is keeping you? Because again, has anything I said so far been, I didn't know that. I did not know that I could be healthy. I didn't know. No. But, so there's not a lack of knowledge. There's a lack of something that's keeping you from going and doing the things. So tell me, okay, here's a better question. What's keeping your neighbor or your friends from being healthy? Not you. I asked the wrong question. Nothing. Nothing. No, but, okay, he's even better. What's keeping your spouse from being healthy? Ladies? Laziness. Laziness. Okay, what else? What's keeping your kids from being healthy? No motivation. No motivation. Environment. Stubbornness. Stubbornness. Cell phone. Cell phones. <laughs> what? Country music. What? Huh? <laughs> Video games. Lack of self-esteem. Lack of self-esteem. See, I just got to ask the right questions. Rock and roll. Right, rock and roll. What else is keeping your kids from living forever young? What they eat. What they eat. Okay. So that's getting in the way, right? So now we need to find versions of that and things like that that don't get in the way. Okay? So let's focus on that now. And again, this poster is, is, is made by a CrossFit gym in New England. I didn't even make this. But when people observe cultures and societies and want to move them to get healthy, truth is truth. That's pretty amazing. I don't have to do the work. The poster does all the talking for me. I've been saying that for the last 25, 30 years. It's right there. And so if you want to get forever young, if you want to begin focusing on the right map to find your life back, then eat, sleep, train, think, connect. That's the five things you understand. How many are there? 
Five. five. There's five. There's not four. There's five. And how you apply all those can get you to where you want to go, okay? So first one, clean eating. Okay, how can you eat to be green grass and stop eating to stop making brown grass? The first one is nutrition. So how about this? Eat real food. Now that sounds simple. If you're in Greece or Japan, squid, octopus, simple, real, right? There's no squid factory. You just reach in the water, grab it, and bite that off, right? They call it sushi, okay? But in America, it gets a little more confused about what real food is. That's why Mary's here with real salad chips. It's real food brought to your house. Yummy, yummy, yummy in your tummy, right? Okay? So here's the rules. Eat real food, not too much, and lots of plants. That's it. Getting Mary's salad shares achieves those things. You're getting lots of plants. Because why? Us, we spend more money on processed foods and sweets than any other food group. 75 to 80% of processed foods in the United States contains genetically modified, which means it makes brown grass and dead grass in your body. It makes you sick. It makes you unhealthy. It makes you not forever young. We spent $165 billion on fast food in 2010. We're eating, but we're eating substances that make us brown grass, dead grass. If we, if we lived in Greece, we would be eating that. Matter of fact, when that comes into Greece, and the Greece or the Japanese people start eating that, they get the diseases of the Americans. It doesn't matter genetically how you're made. Eat real food, not too much, lots of plants. Buy the healthiest food you can, make it taste good, but still healthy, and eat until you're full. Is that news flash to anyone? No. no. But uh, will you? Well, are we going to do it? That's your choice. Because if you're not feeling forever young, let's just say what you are currently doing is not is not working. So let's not let's start making some fun. And if you do this, then you become a fat burning machine. There you go. Fat burning. Who wants to be a fat burning machine? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. But that's it. Eat real food, not too much. And again. Really, the not too much part, if it's healthy for you, life giving for you, I would tell you, eat as much as you want. Because you'll get this thing called full. You're like, no, I'm good. I don't need any more. Who is that person? I'm finally full. Versus, no, I just need something else. No, I just need a bowl of cereal. No, I just think I need a bowl of ice cream. No, I just think I need some more. No, that goes away when you eat real food. You kill off your sugar cravings. Your sugar cravings go away. Okay? And you become a fat burning machine. So, there, like I talked about, salad shares by Mary. You make an order. She delivers to your house five yummy and delicious salads with safe, life-giving dressing you pour on it, and you eat it, okay? And then you put the bag on your front porch, the empties, she take, magically takes those away, Giovanni does, and she puts back a new thing each week. I have her on automatic forever order. She doesn't even bug me, she says, just bring it. I'll eat it, don't worry, okay? That's what we do, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, okay? Again, start simple addition rule. Start adding veggies to your meals. Real simple. Have her delivered to your house. You got five days now, you're going to have veggies. Okay? Nuts, seeds, and beans. Again, this is what they're doing in Greece, Okinawa, and, and, and Italy. So start putting more veggies into your life. Nuts and seeds. Beans, right? And then clean meat one time a day. That's different. That's different. I should tell you, eat as much eggs as you want. Some of you can, as you get older, they want to back off on your cheeses, your dairy, your animal products, because your body may not process it. If it's clean, grass-fed, you'll do better. But if it's American-made meats, dairy, eggs, it's going to muck you up, and it's going to make you uh, more brown grass and dead grass. So get off the, the, the man-made animal products, okay? All right? Now, if you want clean meats, I suggest you go to cornerpostmeats.com, order your clean meats, and they'll deliver right to your house. Love them. That's where we get our meat from, and it's fun. It's good. It's clean. But I, I'm limiting now. I have chicken for dinner. I have mostly uh, oatmeal uh, for breakfast. I have my nutrition, and then I have uh, uh, an egg sandwich some days. No mayonnaise. I cut out the mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise. <laughs> I love mayonnaise. And because life's too short, I have allowed myself 
to put mayonnaise on one side of the bread for my sandwich at lunchtime. I could eat now. I don't eat out very much unless maybe this is when I go out on Thursday nights and I have cauliflower tacos. It's <coughs> a whole amazing thing right there, okay? But clean meats are important. These are just changes that I'm making in my own life because I have things I want to do, okay? So here's the Forever Young 30 Day Kickstart program. <coughs> I want to give you something. If you just did this every day, you'd see amazing changes. You'd kickstart your health. You'd get back from brown grass to green grass. You'd bounce out your hormones. You start unclogging your arteries. You start fighting off disease and diabetes. Your brain fog would go away. What's it look like? Make a power shake. Make a snack. Have a power shake. Have a snack. And then have dinner. Again, just follow the veggies, nuts, and seeds, and beans in one clean meat meal per day. Make a power shake. Then have that for breakfast. How much? As much as you want. You can drink the whole container if you need to because if you're hungry, or just have half of it. And then re-blend it at lunchtime and have the other half. Depends on your appetite. I don't want you starving yourself, okay? Then have a snack if you want one. At, at mid-morning, have a snack in the afternoon. If you need a snack in the evening, fine, have a snack. I don't care. You're eating food. Start eating food. You're adding more veggies, nuts, and seeds, and beans to your life. You're decreasing your intake of plant, I'm sorry, per, uh, animal products. And again, what's it look like? Well, you all tasted it. Let me show you. Are we good, Mr. Grant? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's say you're going to make a power shake. First thing you can do is you grab your cooler. Okay. Can you see me there? Okay. All right. Put some ice in. Okay. Then get your strawberries. Are these open, Lukey? And you get your frozen strawberries. Organic preferred, because you're eating the... Okay. Ah, I'll take a strawberry. Here you go. <laughs> okay. Good. Then you take two. How many? Two. Two, two handfuls of greens. Now, you can use kale. That's a handful. <laughs> Put it in there. Put it in there. Okay. This might be turning the gallon. You better all better watch out. So you got your spinach, right? Now, what I do is I take two scoops of yummy, I'll take one scoop, it's just for you, of mashed greens. This is chocolate flavored vegetables. Put your scoop in there. Oh yeah. Then to get your protein, because we're gonna cut back a little bit on our animal products, you're gonna get this kind of protein from grass-fed cows. It's this right here. And we put one scoop of that in there. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, you little faith. Back off. All right. And then for my skin and my joints and my tummy, I'm going to put one scoop of the collagen, okay, which doesn't have any taste. So you can make your coffee up, scoop of this, but it doesn't have any taste, okay? And then, I'm sorry. And then you take your, your milk, um, coconut milk. Almond milk, I chose almond milk today uh, because that's just what I wanted to choose. Um, I get the unsweetened one, okay? And you did, You can use water if you want to. You just pour it in there. Okay. Now, in the meantime, Dr. Arvey, what can I do for snacks? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> when you're going through your health food store or any food store, you want an organic snack that's fast to eat, that's delicious and nutritious, it's real simple. You go to the baby section where the baby food is. You grab organic, whatever your flavor is, okay? Whatever it is. It can be uh, avocado, kale, and plums, I don't care. Whatever you tickles your fancy. Again, these are snacks, right? You want simple and fast. You wanna go on vacation. I send these with Jesse on a trip. This is Fit Aid, this is a different one, right? This isn't the best tasting one, but this is for health. Then you grab your snack that you can keep. It, it keeps, right? It's baby food, right? Okay? And you just open it up like this. Watch, I'm gonna have a snack right now, right? You just... There you go. This is what I have. What was I do last time? I oh, it was a coconut uh, oil. I put it in my mouth, kept talking, like, don't do that again. <laughs> Remember that I was there, the coconut oil in my mouth, like, ah, oh, it was horrible. So. I won't eat this now. But this is what I do for a snack. So on the way to the gym, I get up, I do this. I make me a tea with the turmeric in it, okay? 
I take my nutrition, I'm off to the gym. There's no reason to skip, oh, I'm starving. Put a bunch of these that you like in your, in your, in your desk or whatever, and you have them there. This is the secret to snacking, is having the snack there before you want it. Get rid of your stash drawer and put good stuff in it. Nuts, seeds, baby food, veggies, fruit. Okay, again, become a black belt at this. All right, watch me prove Mrs. R.B. wrong, all yeah. Okay, here we go. Off and on, smoothie. <laughs> how you make a smoothie okay so take that that can be a serving for you it can be a serving for your family it can be a serving for our, you know it depends on what your serving is and how much you like okay if it does look like that you should add more water to it if you look at the RV kitchen you will see Signs of progress <laughs> on the ceiling. So that's how you make a power shake, right? Go for it. No. Sure. So again, you all can do that. Again, I can give you my wisdom. I can't give you my experience, which means grab your blender, put stuff in there, find out what you like to eat, have fun with it, make a mess, go for it. But if you just sit there and buy the book and read about it, it's never going to happen. Okay? So literally, you can, you can do a whole one of those for breakfast if you need to. Or do half and then do snacks, okay? Now, what are snacks? And you can find more recipes at spinegeek.com, okay? <coughs> more recipes at spinegeek.com. So, what are snacks? Cashews, veggies and hummus, apples, bananas, Greek yogurt with berries, almonds, grapefruit, olives and pickles, uh, uh, avocados with cottage cheese, peanuts, smoothies, veggies with guacamole, peaches, dark chocolate, hello, mm -hmm. dark chocolate, 70%, 65% or higher. Homemade popsicles, pistachios, edamame, string cheese, okay, bananas with peanut butter, apples with peanut butter, grapes, pecans, dried fruit, raisins, air pop, popcorn, hard boiled eggs. Those are snacks. Doritos are not snacks. Cheez Its are not snacks. Pringles are not snacks. Okay? But salad share is a snack. Nuts, seeds are snacks. Vegetables, fruit are snacks. Power shake snacks, okay? So again, we have to minimize the poisons we're putting on our body, our skin, the pollution be forever young. Go over there and talk to Mrs. Arvey, women and men, about your hair products, shampoos. Again, one time a day, 365 days a year, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, those chemicals can make you very sick. Keep you from being forever young, make you brown grass, if not dead grass. Many of the products we use every day Toxins, right? Remember the toxins? Lead to cancer. It's proven. You put that chemical made by man in a corporation in your body made by God, and it will make brown grass, then dead grass, and you got cancer from having that ingredient or that toxin in your body. I have this corn syrup, all the different chemicals I can't pronounce right now, top of my head. Okay, there's tons of them. We put them on our skin every day, in our hair, put them on our babies every day. Okay, we put them in our food. Well, this multi I like, as far as nutrition, taking vitamins, what vitamin can I take to help me get forever young? Okay? Women's well, multi is a great one to take. One, maybe two a day, that's it. Okay? Healthy skin, hair, and nails. Okay? Strong metabolism, healthy bones. No jokes about breast health, please. Cardiovascular health. Okay? But it has red wine extract in it. It's not in the man's one. <laughs> men's multi meets the wellness needs of men promotes health 
okay? Helps keep you young and strong. Grass-fed whey protein. It's important it's grass-fed because cows don't eat very good meals unless the food they eat makes them brown grass. So if you're doing protein from a brown grass cow, it's gonna make brown grass in you. But if you're getting protein from a grass-fed cow like it's supposed to be and God designed it, then you have health. That's what I just said. Protein, again, ideal weight, strong bones, good source of protein, keeps you young, keeps you strong. So does Max Greens. Again, this is chocolate vegetables. Great superfood. Reduce pain. Detoxes the body. One scoop a day keeps the doctor away. Max Fit is one also for working out, helping your body burn fat, be strong. Has ashwagandha in it. Burn fat, ease anxiety, lose weight, balance your blood sugar levels, improve endurance. Really good stuff. One, maybe two a day for 60 days. And again, collagen product. That's why we put the collagen in there. Great for the gut, great for the tummy, good for the joints. Again, collagen. Beats injecting stuff into your lips and your cheeks, okay, or your eyebrows or whatever, okay? And again, one scoop a day, one scoop in your drinks is how we use it at our house, okay? What's the best time to take your nutrition? With the smoothie in the morning. Now, if, it, if I tell you to take it at dinner or at night, I will tell you. But the general ones we just talked about, make them up in the smoothie, take them in the morning all at once. You're good to go. You're powered up for the day. Your body's making green grass before you even get to noon, okay? And again, if you want to know more about nutrition, make an appointment with Jesse to come in on a Friday or Saturday so we can do individual customized nutritional testing. You don't need all those vitamins in the vitamin products. You don't need all those vitamins in our shelves. But what ones might you need to get back to green grass faster? We'll test you out. It's free to all our patients. And again, everything you want to get today, you want to get the protein powder, you want to get the max fit, the max greens, it's all 10% off for you today. Okay? Again, it's not a matter of diet, it's lifestyle. It's how you're going to live. Again, positive future thinking is so important. You need sleep. Everybody say, I need sleep. I need sleep. But not right now. <laughs> and how much sleep do you need? Seven to nine hours a day, a night. I get seven a night, and then I get an hour nap. It gives me eight hours. Saturdays and Sundays, I'll take a two, three hour nap. Why? I need it. My family needs me to have one. <laughs> I come home, it's ours, let's go take your nap. Okay. <laughs> I can't afford to have a bad day. I can't afford to get up and go, oh, I don't feel like doing anything today. Uh-uh, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Because if you are sleep deprived, here's what happens. When you're trying to squeeze in more of the day and less sleep, brain shuts down, impaired moral judgment, severe yawning, hallucinations, ADHD, impaired immune system, risk of type 2 diabetes, increase of heart rate variability, maybe it's heart disease, decrease tremors, aches, growth suppression, risk of obesity, decreased temperature. You're killing yourself by not sleeping. You can't afford not to sleep seven to nine hours a night. You can't afford not to. I don't care how busy you are. You think you're getting stuff done. If you sleep more, you'll get more done. The person who sharpens their ax more cuts more wood. The more sleep you get, the more green grass and the faster green grass you'll become. Oxygen to your cells. That's called fitness. That's called exercise. People who exercise, walk up mountains, go to the gym, I don't care what you call it, live longer, live better. They achieve it. Okay? The longer you sit though, the more brown grass and dead grass you're going to be. Training. Why? Because when you train, you're cranking up the oxygen in your body. More oxygen means your skin looks younger. Cancer can't grow in your body. Hormones are more balanced. You pull off this forever young thing because you're driving oxygen into your cells. We call it exercise. They just call it living and moving and doing stuff to go get their goat milk. Right? Train. When you train, you become a fat burning machine. You balance out your hormones. Good things begin to happen through exercise. You sleep. It's an antidepressant. There's amazing things that happen when you learn, when you develop a habit of training your body on a daily basis. Five times a week. Consistent and varied. Functional movements, like we do here on Saturdays. High intensity, like we do on Saturdays. They're free. Saturday mornings at 8.30. Come join me, and I'll show you how to do it yourself. The reason why you can't do it yourself, all right? 
So again, here's the workouts we do. Workout one, jumping jacks, squats, push-ups, sit-ups. Do each one for 15 seconds. Four exercises, that's one minute. Take a minute break. Do that six times. Six minutes of exercise, you're done. That's called the quick exercise. Do that, do, do that five days a week. Healing, fat burning, longevity, forever young will come back. As you get in shape, then do each exercise 30 seconds. Take a minute break, that's 12 minutes of exercise, 17 minutes of total time, you're rocking the world. That's what we do on Saturdays, okay? But run in place, lunge, squat, jumping jacks, push-ups, hold the plank, sit-ups, standing punches, sit-ups, punches, lunges, squats. Vary it up each time, okay? And, and if you want help, come work out with me. Join me at 515. You won't do what I do, okay? Because I'm crazy. I'm relentless for my goals. But if you want to join it, this is, listen, there's three types of people, maybe four. The one person can buy the video, go in their basement, and work out like nobody's business. That's Mrs. Arley, okay? Number two can go to the gym and work out like nobody's business somewhere else other than home. Number three needs to go to a boot camp, coaches style, where they don't mind working out hard, they just don't want to plan it out. So they just show up, Coach writes what they're gonna do on the day on the board, they do what it says, they do their best, they high five everyone, and they go home. That's me. I thrive in that environment. Mary and I work out, she kicks my butt, okay? And Leah does that too as well. That's who I am. You give me whatever video, say here, Merry Christmas, Dr. Arbery. I'll be like, I'll be good for probably 30, 40 days, and then, um, right? I have enough gym equipment at home to do everything I wanna do. I haven't touched it probably in, ooh, I don't know how long, right? I got a new bike downstairs I gotta get on, probably do it tomorrow morning, but but I, but I at, at the gym, I have everything I need and I do it there. So figure out who you are. If you're a boot camp person that needs help and needs coaching, then quit buying the videos. Go to Surge, join me at 5.15 in the morning and work out with people in a safe way. If you want to sign up, just go ahead and sign. I don't know what the, their prices are right now, but they, they could call it sweat right now. Come sweat. Okay? It's fun. It's fun. Mindset. Uh-oh, you getting ready? Now, everything else I just talked about was the introduction. Now we're going to get going. Positive future thinking. Think. Here's the three rules of thinking the right way. <clears throat> First one, never whine. It doesn't say W-I-N-E. <laughs> This is W-H-I-N-E. There's a big difference. <laughs> Never complain. Never make excuses. Now, here's what I'm not saying. Andy comes to me and says, um, Dr. Arby, I'm not complaining, but my wrist hurts. Could you help me? No, no. Dr. Arby, could you please check my wrist? It's not working like it should. That's not complaining. That's called communication. Right? Complaining, whining, excuses is when you're just talking to hear yourself talk, and you won't let anybody else help you. And I know none of you do this in the room, okay? But I've heard, but you have to understand, am I whining, am I complaining, am I making excuses for not, again, we, we talk about all the reasons why our kids don't do stuff, right? Okay. So will you be relentless? Here's the key, will you be relentless? With the time you wake up, will you be relentless with when you're going to think right, when you're going to eat, when you're going to train, when you're going to connect your brain and spinal cord, when you're going to connect with your family, tell, you, tell them you love them and text them. And when you go to bed on time, every time, the same time. Oh, whenever is not an answer. Whatever is an excuse. Nail it down. Again, this is the secret to forever young. I know every day these things. I know when I wake up, I'm going to think, I'm going to eat, I'm going to train, I'm going to connect, I'm going to go to bed. I map this out ahead of time. My family knows this, and they know not to get in my way. Today I was driving to work, and we had a patient saw me. They said, dude, I, I was waving at you. I'm like, you didn't see me. I'm like, he said, you were like this. Like, yeah, because when I get in the car, I got my Proverbs playing, I got my coffee time, and I'm like, I'm praying for all of you. I'm in my think time, in my car. I can multitask. I don't text while I drive anymore. <laughs> but... He's like, you were like this. I go, yeah, I'm sure I was. Why? Because I was in my think and my connect to God time. That's when it was. Okay? But this is it. But you have, 
You, you can't just try it for a week. This becomes who you are. This becomes who you are. Again, 10 principles of thinking. First of all, number one, prioritize. Put first things first. Put first things first. Prioritize your life. What do you want? Stop trying to make everyone happy and figure out what you want to be happy. And if you're wrong, so what? You're wrong. Be selfish. I don't care. I give you permission as your doctor to be selfish for a little bit. I give you permission as your doctor to take naps. I give you permission as your doctor to say no until you figure out life. Because you sure know what you've been doing is not working like it should be working. Develop a growth mindset. Focus on what you can control. Some of you, I tell you, you can only worry about the things you can control. You, you can control. Don't worry about anything else. Only things you can control. Worry about that all you want. Short. Listen very short. Grind through obstacles. Mrs. Harvey, what was I doing last night from 6 to 12.30 last night with my PowerPoint? Grinding. I was grinding. I was grinding through this thing. I wanted to make it well make it good for you guys. At least so we're out here by 2 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Own your own attention. Question your limiting beliefs, your bad BS belief system. Never whine, complain, or make excuses. I bought Leah one time a card, and I love the card, from the man who can see the excuses forming in your brain before you say them. You still have that card. Yeah. I have a gift. It's not a good gift. It got me in trouble many times. Because when I would hear, I'm like, I'm hearing excuses. No, I'm just trying to talk to you. Like, no, I'm going to try to listen, but I see that you have to learn. I'm not saying I'm good at it. But, okay, never whine, complain, or make excuses to yourself. Get to be real with yourself. Be, you can't BS the person in the mirror. Be real with that person first. Be real. Sit there, stand and take a good look at yourself and say, well, what are we going to do? We can keep doing what we've been doing, and I'm not happy. Or we can start doing something different. I can start liking this person in the mirror, getting to know them again, and speak and think kindness to them. It's your choice. It's your choice. Practice open-mindedness and positivity. Now, be careful when I say open-minded. Sometimes that means you need to shut your mind down and only focus on the positive things that God says about you. Okay? So be careful with that. Well, you're just not open-minded. No, I'm just not going to think that. Because I know the truth. Transform every have to to get to. I get to come here and get adjusted. I get to go see my children. I get to take my wife on a date. I get to eat healthy food. I get to work out. Oh, I have to. I got to. Bill little yells you. But no, no, no. Change your have to's to get to's. And then chase excellence. Become relentless. I'll tell you why. I mean, become relentless. Like nobody is going to get you off your journey. Nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Yeah, because yes, you can. Do you guys know the story of great grandma Ellie Mae? Back in the 50s, great grandma Ellie Mae, so I'm told, not my grandmother, but I'm told, liked to dip. She liked tobacco. She got, this is in the 50s, you can do that in the South. She got addicted to it. Her husband would say, Ellie Mae, would you please stop the tobacco? I can't, I can't, Papa, I can't. I'll give you $1,000 if you quit. I just can't. I've tried it. She never quit. Papa dies. Great grandma Ellie Mae starts getting lonely. And she's like, I need a man. But there's no way a man's going to like me if I treat the back. So guess what Ellie Mae did? She quit. Just like that. A man made her So don't tell me you can't. You tell me you can't. And we're whining, we're complaining, making excuses. You just don't want it bad enough. That's fine. Be real with that person. If you don't want to lose weight, then don't. But stop talking about it. If you're going to tell me, well, someday I'm going to, no, stop. Get yourself up. If you're not going to do it, you know it, stop talking about it. Quit making yourself miserable. Give yourself grace and love and be okay with the way you are. But don't make promises to you. Don't write checks you know you can't cash. Some of my sayings to my kids. You're writing checks you can't cash. I'd be careful if I was you right now. Right? If you want it bad enough, then when God sees you acting in faith, his breath of willpower. If you want to see God do the supernatural, then you need to start doing the natural in faith. Start acting as if. Acting as if. Because in 90 days, you'll be a whole lot closer than if you're still thinking about it. Okay?
That's Grandma Ellie Mae's story. So life purpose. Why are you still here on this planet? Why are you breathing? Why are you here? Why did you get out of bed in the morning? What's your reason? What's your reason to get strong and stay strong? What's your desire? What do you want? Now, some of you maybe have put, some of those desires may be dead grass right now. Well, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna resurrect them. It's not too late. It's not over, you're still breathing. God still has his eye on you, he still has plans for you. You may think it's over, but I promise you it's not. I promise you it's not. I have desires, I have reasons to be relentless. And if I take one second to share, there's this thing called the CrossFit Games. Some of you know I was a wrestler in college, in high school, I wanted to make it to the Olympics as a wrestler, I didn't make it, but I still had this thing inside me that wanted me to make it, you know why? Because I want to get to the Olympics and I want to get all the stuff. I want to wear the Olympic jackets. I want to wear the Olympic watch I have here from Brazil. I want, I don't know why. I just know that when I watch those commercials, I start crying because I want the stuff. I want to be that Olympian. I got something to prove myself. It's not about, I'm okay if I never get there, right? But when you focus on what God wants for your life, I've been to two Olympics as a chiropractor. That was pretty awesome. That, that was almost as awesome, but I still had this thing in me. Seven years ago, I go to my first CrossFit gym and I'm hooked. I'm like, this is it. I can do this, and it won't, be, it won't be at the expense of my family. It won't be at the expense of my marriage. It won't be at the expense of my business or my patients. Actually, it'll feed that, right? Some of you here, the answer to being forever young is not a new spouse, okay? So I'm not going to ask you to do anything that is like, no, I don't want to, right? So, again, I want to make it to the CrossFit Games. Why? Because they have these T-shirts, they put your name on it. I want the t-shirt with my name on it. Am I willing to train 15 years at 4 o'clock in the morning? Yes! That's why I'm weird. But that weirdness is why I eat clean, I, eat, I, I, I get out of bed on time, I get to bed on time. It's why I eat. It's why I train. That's why I think. It's why I connect. That is my big enough purpose. Therefore, the life I have to live to get there makes me healthy forever young. Does that make sense? Yes. When you have a big why and a big reason, I don't know what yours is. I want to travel with my spouse. I want to be there for my grandkids. I want to I, I want to go on missions trips. I don't want to be like, I don't know what your why is. Me, because I'm a guy, I don't know. But God put it in there and he won't shut it off. That's mine. That's what makes me relentless. And each of you have to find out what yours is. I'm here to help you discover that, okay? I'm here to help you discover that. Because it's there. It's God put it there, and you're like, well, it can't be that. Oh, no, it can be that. It can be that, okay? Now, here's a word I want to share with you. Okay, don't read the words. What's that? Kidding. That's shalom. The reason why you're not green grass is because you have a lack of shalom in your life. When I get up every morning, I go, shalom over my beautiful wife, mind of Christ, shalom over May, shalom over Leah, mind of Christ, shalom over Grant, and his girlfriend, mind of Christ, shalom over Luke, shalom over John, I pray shalom over my parents, my sister, I pray shalom over everyone. I want that for all of you. What's shalom? It's not hello, it's not goodbye. Okay? It is a word, Hebrew word meaning peace, harmony, wholeness, completeness, prosperity, welfare, tranquility. Who wants some of that for 10,000? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm in the cliff notes. I'm in to give you the one thing, right? So what do you want? Shalom. Wherever you see darkness or anger or bitterness, you see a lack of shalom. So what do we do? We pray shalom. We clear shalom. I speak shalom. Peace. Peace be with you. Also with you. It's the same thing. Now, I was a little nervous about sharing this because Dr. Joe's going in the weird zone now. Like, it's just, no. If you want a life of longevity, a life of forever young, you need shalom. You need shalom. I'm not in a shalom situation right now. You better get up and get one then. Because I want peace, harmony, wholeness. Now, coming to this office, following through what we do, you, more shalom shows up in your life. That's why I love it. That's why we see the miracles. Shalom shows up. So that's what we're all about, chasing shalom. And again, there's wise promises I've read. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do. Everywhere you go, he's the one who will keep you on track. Again, you want forever young, you want green grass living, 
You really can't get there if you don't follow the manual. You said God made green grass. You said God made your body. So you better follow what he says to have longevity and the promises of longevity and youthful living, right? Don't assume you know it all. Run to God, run from evil. What will happen? Your body will glow with health. Your very bones will vibrate with life. Proverbs 3. See, everybody wants the promises, but they want to leave God out. Ooh, watch out. They want to leave out the creator, the maker, but they just want to... It doesn't, ha- it doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. Not, not, for, not for... You can't sustain it. It doesn't deliver the promise. Look at Hollywood. Lots of people doing things to look better. Lots of money. But how's the happiness? How's the green grass? They're horrible. It's horrible. So wise promises. Here's some more. Dear friend, guard clear thinking and common sense with your life. Don't for a minute lose sight of them. They'll keep your soul alive and well. They'll keep you fit and attractive. You'll, find, you'll travel safely. You'll neither tire nor trip. You'll take afternoon naps <laughs> without a worry. You'll enjoy a good night's sleep. These are promises for you. No need to panic over alarms or surprises or predictions of that doomsday is just around the corner because God will be right there with you. He'll keep you safe and sound. The ways of right living people glow with light. The longer they live, the brighter they shine. Yes, be a glow of burning with the Holy Spirit. There you go. There comes the fire. So Shalom promise. I promise you give us the next three months of doing what we're talking about right now and you'll see good things happen in your body and mind and life. Promise you. I promise you. So war plan the day. Get your planner out. Not right now. What time are you going to wake up every day so that you can have green grass? What time are you going to think? When are you going to think? What time are you going to eat? What are you going to eat? What are you going to train? Make a date for yourself. What time are you going to connect with your family? What time is date night? What time are you going to go be, listen to God? What time are you going to go to bed? Usually this is the biggest one. This is the hardest one. Getting up on time is not hard. Going to bed on time is hard. My time, 9 o'clock. Sayonara, everybody. I don't care what's going on. I come back down. They've had parties without me. <laughs> There's popcorn. all kinds of stuff. I'm like, it's all the fun, right? Nope, now. Go to bed. I got things to do. I, I've got things to do. I'm going to bed. And I'm sorry. I love you. You know I love you. I've connected with you. I spent time with you. But now... I need to go to bed because I have a life. I have things I'm chasing. Okay? Travel. Ooh, travel. It doesn't change. When we go on vacation, I know where the next CrossFit gym is. I know where the Whole Foods is. And there's a chiropractor there I'm getting adjusted. I know when I'm going to bed. I know when I'm waking up. And I'm, I, and I'm connecting with God. If you travel somewhere, you don't just go back to being an American. Does that make sense? <laughs> if you want to be forever young this is a 24 hour day 365 day of the year every year relentless passionate life it, this is how it works you know well, I'm taking a month off I'll show you that in a minute but no matter where I am I have my wedding ring on I don't leave to take my wedding ring off and not act married because I'm not with her no no I, wherever I go if I was on a planet Mars I'm still married acting married Yes. If I'm wherever I so it doesn't change. We think it changes when we change zip codes. It doesn't change. This is life. If 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 you want to live green grass, if you want to be full of life, peace, and joy, if you want to have, if you want to be able to go and do what you want to do, this is the secret that you map this out. No matter where you are, no matter where you go, no matter who you're with. Well, I haven't been in two weeks. We've had company over, so therefore uh, I couldn't make my adjustments. Listen, if you were on chemotherapy. You would never say that to your medical doctor. Well, they'd say, go get your chemo, right? Well, I, I, my family was in town and we just ate garbage and we just did it. For a week, fine. But for a month and never come back? No, 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 no. Now you're off purpose. Now we need to get back on. I'll show you how that works in a minute. So you have to be relentless. Busyness will trip you up. Well, nice, Dr. Arve. I don't have time for that. Then I would argue that you're just not serious about it then. And that's okay. Be real with yourself. Busyness never delivers the promise. Stay connected. Good fruit grows through connection. You must stop being overwhelmed with the size of your problems. God's love and plan is bigger. 
Worry comes from you being overwhelmed by the size of your problem and forgetting how big God's love is for you. Get your focus back on how much you're loved by God and your problem will become manageable. It won't consume you. It won't overwhelm you. It won't make you eat that ice cream at night. It won't make you sit on the couch and watch TV all day long. So just keep pouring in the good. Ready, Liam? You should pray. So, this is your life right now. These ping pong balls are your life. They represent where you're at right now and where you need to go. Okay? You're thinking, you're eating whatever you want, you're thinking whatever you want, you're not exercising, on a scale of 10, you're two, and what, what, how, how do you fix this? You start by getting to bed on time. What happened? Nothing. It's the first night. It's the first week. But something is going into you, even though you may not see any results yet. You had a salad from Mary's salad. You went for a walk. You told your spouse you loved them. You called your brother or your mom or dad that you're mad at. It's okay. Keep pouring in. You're getting adjusted. You're getting reconnected. Maybe you start praying, asking God for help. Just keep pouring in those five habits. Nothing still happened. It's okay. The scale's not moving. I still feel bad. My hormones are... Uh, I'm, uh, just... Some of you think... <clears throat> I'm very confident in the process and the outcome and how much God loves you will heal you if we just keep pouring in the adjustments. You will heal. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to let you know that I, you're healing. You may not see any, anything right now. You may not feel anything right now. It doesn't mean it doesn't work. Just keep eating right. Keep thinking right. Keep showing up for your workouts. Start and then all of a sudden something begins to move, like the scale. Or you stop having headaches. Okay? Things begin to change. What do you do? Oh, I feel good now. I'm gonna take a break. I lost five pounds. I'm gonna go celebrate with pecan pie. No. <laughs> I'm gonna quit calling her and telling her I love her or stop dating her. No. You keep pouring it in. You keep spending time with God. And as you keep pouring in life, stuff on its own begins to happen. You just keep connected. Look to your partner and say, stay connected. No matter what. Let's talk relevant. There's a school shooting. The world's going to hell. Let's give everybody guns. Blah, 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 blah. No. Just keep pouring in peace, love, joy, right thinking. And as you stay connected, you're going to see changes start happening in your life. This is how healing happens. This is how marriages are restored. Here's how families are mended back together. I need more water, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so daughters make you crazy. No. Because <laughs> I'm going to fill the whole thing up. So we got seven more. So, <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Look, look at Mama Bear. Hey, don't have my hands. <laughs> so this is what happens. As you're pouring in those five habits of connecting your nervous system, doing your wobble chairs, doing what you need, things will begin to change. You start noticing. So now you're like, hey, you lost weight? Yeah, I've lost weight. Look at me, I'm doing good. Wow, we're getting out of debt. Our life is changing. There's still more there, but now you're starting to notice the changes and everything else going on. So what do you do? Well, you just quit, take a break. No, you just keep pouring in the goodness. It becomes a lifestyle now, no matter where you are. If you're on vacation, it doesn't matter. You keep pouring in. 
If something bad happens to you, doesn't matter. You keep pouring in. If all your friends are having a party and it's time for bed, you go to bed. Why? Because you're going to wake up next morning and you're going to be further ahead the next day. It's not worth it to go back to where you are. Okay. Again, are you forever young yet? No. What do you do? You keep your stuff still there. But every, every day is an opportunity to pour in. Every day is an opportunity to keep pouring in. Every day is a blessing. Every day is your chance to be a blessing to somebody else. And you just show up for your workout. You may cry. You may hurt. You may cut yourself on your hands. But guess what? You just keep pouring in. Because now you feel strong. Now you've overcome sugar. Now you may be at your ideal weight. So now maybe you've beaten the cancer. You've beaten the heart disease. You're no longer on medication. What do you do? Because you're afraid it's going to come back. Just keep doing what you did to get there. Keep pouring in the eating. Keep pouring in the adjustments. Stay connected to your family. Keep getting to bed on time. No matter what the world looks like, okay? Until Jesus comes back and you're in heaven, just keep pouring everything in. And one day at a time, one workout at a time, <clears throat> everything keeps changing. This is how healing happens. This is how everything grows, right? Right? This is how, this is what it works. Why well, want it now? It doesn't happen that way. Start pouring in and let's see where you are in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, right? Keep pouring in. Keep pouring in. Keep staying relentless. Keep pouring in, right? You got to keep pouring. 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 Okay? Keep pouring. Become relentless. You got to keep pouring. Yes, Mark. You got to keep pouring. Well, I still have, well, it's pretty good. No, no. Have you achieved your goal yet? Dr. Joe, you made the CrossFit Games yet? No. It's good. It's not good enough, though. Keep pouring. Keep pouring. Keep pouring. Keep pouring. <laughs> then you hire a coach to get the last off. Now, all right. Mission accomplished. Go on vacation. Have some bad food. Oh, no, it's over. It's all done. No. Get back to pouring. See, this is the answer to the rest of your life. You're going to have bad days. Kids are going to make you crazy. Things are going to happen. Poop happens, right? So it tries to get back in there. It tries to cloud out your life. This is what the devil tries to do. He tries to tell you, oh, that was just a joke. That, no, no, no. What do you do? What's the solution? Nothing. You just keep pouring in the good. The five habits. How often? One day at a time. And now you live like this. That's what God wants for you. Overcoming life. This is how you do it. One day at a time. And when life trips you up, you just keep pouring, and it goes away. Because what happens is you may be like this. The devil says, oh, no, you're back to where you were. You gained a pound. No, 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 no. I gained a pound. So what? I'm healthy. I'm strong. So that's how that works. That's how you pull this thing off, is you pour it one day at a time, 365 days a year. If you try to wing it, you won't. So that's why I want you to map it out. That's how you have a successful marriage, successful health. That's how you beat heart disease, cancer, diabetes, poor grades, ADHD, I don't, autism. I don't care what it is. That's how you pour it out in a way so that you achieve the green grass zone. Make sense? So, but you got to do your part. You got to do your part. I can't pour for you. I can't pour for my kids. I can't pour for my wife. I have to decide that that's what I do for me. That's your decision. They won't do it for you. And you can't really pay someone to do it for you except the last few balls. That helps out. Okay? So, does this work? Oh, it works in spades. It works big time if you pour, if you show up. Okay? Your results are in your hands. It's never a question if this will work. It's always an application process. 
Not ever will this work or not. Oh no, it'll work. You're promised it'll work. God promises it works. He promises you green grass. You gotta water the grass though. So again, eat real food, not too much, mostly plants. Sleep seven to nine hours a night. Train five times a week. Think. Never whine, never complain, never make excuses. Get connected. This is the important one. Connection's important. All the money in the world is no good if you're alone. All the money in the world is no good if you're sick and unhealthy. you got to stay connected to God, your brain, spine, and nerve power, your marriage, your family, your friends, your community. you got to stay connected. We all need each other if we're going to get healthy and strong and live forever. So look, how to look and feel old again. People feel great and eat great. People sleep and find. People exercise. People have good thoughts, but sometimes they still get cancer and heart disease. Why? Because they're disconnected from the source of healing, which is the brain spinal cord. See, three things happen to everyone. City, state, nation, and planet. People hear this workshop, they want me to come speak at their jobs. They want me to come speak at their homes. You got other people, five or more, I'll come speak, I'll come do this talk to help them become forever young so we can create a healthy, safe, and strong community. We'll get you from brown grass to green grass. The fastest thing, though, to get you from brown grass to green grass is your brain, spine, and nerve system. That's the most important habit there is. There are people who are chasing all the other habits, doing them really, really well, and they're not getting the green grass. It's because they're not connected by their brain, spinal cord, and nerve system. Bob Harper is a primary example. He was doing all four of the habits really well. Probably got to bed on time, ate clean, trained hard, thought happy thoughts, wrote books on it, was on the biggest loser, ends up having a heart attack, no symptoms. Why? Because his brain was disconnected to his heart, because his spine was out of alignment. That's why, that's why that happens. So he was disconnected. That's why connection is so crucial. That's why your brain, spine, and nerves are so crucial. I said, follow all six, it'll promise green grass. Leave one out or only focus on one, brown grass, dead grass. Your nervous system runs everything. It has to be connected. Your nervous system holds the key to your body's potential to heal itself. All right? So if you're watching, you're listening, I give you handouts. If you know somebody who wants to be forever young, if they're not being reconnected through their spine nerve system, then they're going to stay connect, disconnected. And we want to help them. They're Get reconnected, get the process going, it's $99. Saves bonus two seventy. it's $99. So anybody you know, you take that hand out to them and tell them, we want you to be forever young. We want you to be green grass. We care about you. We love you. We want, we want, we want to help you change your life. That's what that's all about for, okay? Again, brush your spine at home, okay? Wobble, do your traction. That's, that's part of the pouring in process. Don't be too busy enough to take care of your spine and nerve system, okay? I'm your doctor here. Please, let me help you pour. Let me encourage you. Let me cheer you on as you pour. You may have bad days. That's fine. Keep pouring. You may get disgusted. Keep pouring. All your friends may say you're crazy. That's okay. Keep pouring. I know there's kids still shooting kids. Our job is not done yet. I want every one of you to be green grass. I want everyone to watch you be healthy and strong because that's what God's promised. So if you need to text me, text me. You want to call me, call me. Go on the website. Go to this Facebook page. I'm here for you. Use me so that you can be forever young. And again, have fun while you're doing it. It's okay to be happy while you're getting healthy. It's, it's imperative that you're happy while you're getting healthy. And so just know, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and I, it shall be done to you. That's a promise from God. That's the promise I give you. The fruit cannot be born, the fruit can't grow if it's not connected to the vine. And so connection, promise. You stay connected, your body will heal, your mind will change, your life will change, okay? So I'm gonna get really weird. Everybody bow your heads, I'm gonna pray over you, a blessing. Father, we thank you for today. Lord, we cannot change our life without you, therefore we're asking you for help. We want to help sleep better. We want to eat better. We want to train hard. We want to think good thoughts. And we want to get reconnected back to you, our family, and our nerve system. So I declare a blessing on everyone here today. And make that so because you love us so much. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming.
so. If you have any questions, I'll be around here to clean up my mess. You want some power shake? I'll finish that up, right? But thank you for coming.